The 2021 spring football season for Shenandoah University marked the first one in school history. The Old Dominion Athletic Conference had postponed all sports until the spring semester due to the ongoing situation with COVID-19. The conference did not feel it was safe to start the season in the fall just yet. The uncertainty of the season made everything difficult for the team. I think uh, the biggest challenge for this year was the unknown uh, from day to day and what the next week would bring and trying to look ahead and be ready for possible scenarios that might or might not occur was the greatest challenge. Well, I think the uncertainty of just like, because of COVID, like someone could test positive and that means we got to quarantine some of our best players. That could also mean that someone on the other team tests positive, tests positive and that we might not be able to play them. So we might have to find another team to play. And all this other stuff, I think that uncertainty really made everything difficult for us. I think the just the whole uncertainty of we started in the summer and we were told we were going to play, then we told we weren't going to play, then we told we were told we could practice, uh, but we had to do split squad practices. You know, I think there was an uncertainty to what's really going to happen, and it's. You know, it's hard to prepare as an athlete, but it's really hard to prepare when you don't know, you know, when your your competition is or if your competition is going to happen. And then if it does happen, are we actually going to play who we think we're going to play? So I think everyone had to deal with it, but, um, you know, we all had those challenges. That was the hardest part. But even with all this uncertainty, the team still chose to remain positive. Well, I, I think, first of all, we've always tried to instill in the program just a control the controllables, be a mentally tough person. And I think that that really helped this year. Um, at the same time, you know, in my 20 years of coaching career, it was challenging in the fact that I, you know, we did not have the answers as the coaches or the administrators. No one could really tell you what it was going to look like in a month or a week. and you know, the situation was constantly changing. So, you know, and I think, um, you know, just the attitude of our team was was pretty positive throughout the year. Although, you know, I think they were, you know, understanding of what was happening around them. But, um, you know, I think we stayed pretty positive. There was another issue at hand. Because all of the Shenandoah sports teams were playing in the spring, the school had to make two weight rooms for the sports teams, which meant that the AEC now became a workout site for the football team. Well, it was a challenge because normally we'll have, norm in a normal season, we'll be able to use the weight room. We'll be doing squats, bench press, pull-ups, all those exercises that are beneficial to football. And we, we didn't really have that this year. Like we could mimic those exercises, but it was difficult. It wasn't really the same thing as we would have during a normal year, but I think we did the best we could with what we had. And working hard and staying positive ended up helping the team as they beat Bridgewater 19-18 to this year, a team that they had not beaten since 2017 and a team that had gone undefeated and won the conference championship the previous year. You know, I think our, um, just our ability to mentally stay engaged you know, at that point in the season, we didn't know what the next step was or there was a lot of question marks. And, you know, we had played them before and we had played them at their place. It was the second time. So I think just our ability to really drill down into the game plan. I know offensively we had a great game plan and it was executed at a high level. I know defensively we held they're a good running back to one of his worst performances. Um, so we, you know, we played really well. And a part of that was the preparation and just mentally being engaged, you know, at a time that it was hard to concentrate. It is worth noting that Ross Barker had a unique relationship with Bridgewater. So I actually played at Bridgewater my freshman year. 
and then I ended up transferring it during the sophomore, during the summer leading up to my sophomore year. So it was really a big thing. It was really important for me to, that we got that win because we had not beaten them the entire time that I had been at Shenandoah. They improved a lot ever since I left, and it was really exciting to get that win, especially in a time like this and in a season like this. And the other thing was that that's actually Coach Clark. That was actually his last home game. So it was really kind of exciting to get to win that one. And I got to talk to him. I got to talk to him after the game and catch up with him. And it was it was really exciting. The team is looking to use what they have experienced during this season and use it to fuel their 2021 fall season. Well, I think as a coaching staff, you know, we've already started um, on preparation for next year, whether it's X's and O's or just um, getting ready for the season. And a big part of that is you know, staff meetings football wise and using the information and what we gathered about our team X's and O's and personnel wise from this five game season and using that. I mean, that if you look at it that way, it was, you know, super spring ball, you know, normally spring ball, we're in shorts and t-shirts and we can't compete. And instead we got to put pads on and compete five games. So, you know, can we use that to put our personnel in an even better situation to be successful, um, you know, and can we kind of springboard? We're only we're less than three months away from the start of camp, so you know there isn't a big layoff, and let's use that as our advantage. The Hornets' 2021 fall season will begin on September 4th against Methodist at one o'clock. Big one.